every time they ask me this question, I would get paid one euro, I would be really rich. What question is it? Easy. Luminor Neo or Luminor Mobile? Many people would like to know what's best for them, so we're going to speak about this. And if you like both, I've got a great new piece of news I'll tell you at the end of the video. So let's start. First of all, in case you don't know, Luminor Neo is for computers, Mac or Windows. And if we speak about mobile, it is for mobile device, whether it is Android or Apple, like an iPhone or an iPad because it can be a smartphone and tablet or an Android tablet on Android phone so both are uh, possible obviously uh, retouching on a tablet is uh, more practical larger everything and but uh, on a smartphone is more complicated but don't forget the features are exactly the same on Luminar mobile whether it is a smartphone or a tablet so that's important to show you how it works, I decided to use a RAW file made with the Fujifilm X406. Many people think you cannot use a RAW file on Lumina Mobile. It is possible, sometimes more limited, we'll see, but it is possible. So I'm going to use the same picture for that, the same file. And uh, what's important, if you want, before I forget, if you wanted to buy or test this software, there is a link in the description and with my code ERIC10 you get a 10% discount on Luminar Neo and on Arperty. Uh, it's uh, on top of any offer they have, you still place a code, it's even cheaper for you, okay? But first, to show you the visual difference, I'm going to use my iPad on the mobile and I get in there right now to show you basic uh, retouching because I've made some more advanced video uh, about this software, but we want to compare both today, so we're going to do uh, straight to the point. So let's go for it. As you can see, this is a raw file. You have develop raw that is here and here I can touch exactly what I want. I can uh, luminosity, okay, exposure, I should say. I could change a white, I could change a highlight, uh, bring up the shadows or not, the plaques. Well, I can play exactly as I could do with any uh, edition, uh, raw uh, software, raw development software, uh, the colors, all this, saturation, all this. I can uh, play with the whole thing here. I've got all these possibilities. At any time, I can uh, see before and after the difference. Saturation, structure, relight, vignettes, all this. I'm not going to show, show you everything because I've already presented this video. There it is to compare. No? Landscape, I could change here what is uh, the greens, if I want them more saturated or not. Okay, if I want more golden hour or not. Okay, the curves, the details, all this, I can work on everything. Most people, when they use a Luminar mobile, they want to go fast to have a quick result. And sometimes they still want to do advanced things like replacing the sky. Let's check this sky here. I just pick it, it's really easy. And what I do right now is that I uh, replace the sky. I can uh, move it, place it exactly where I want. I could have my own sky also, but they do uh, offer several sky, blue sky, uh, dramatic, all this. What many people forget is to adjust uh, the aspect of the sky, which is the lighting, what is uh, the darkness, all this. I'm not going to touch it right now. There's one point that is really important in my opinion is the focusing. You can have, cannot have this house that is perfectly sharp at 10 meters. Then you have a background there that is out of focus because it is three kilometers away and the sky that is perfectly sharp and it's also four or five kilometers away, the clouds, they're really high in the sky, okay? So it's so important to defocus and to get something that is more realistic. Don't forget this. When you replace the sky, adjust the sharpness of the sky. It, cannot, it has to be realistic, okay? Many people, when they use that type of app, they want to have a preset that is fast to apply. So I do, I do have some uh, presets here also. I could, uh, there are uh, first a landscape, travel, this, I could pick any of them. Okay, so let's try this one, let's apply, or this one, or whatever I want. Okay, I can apply, and this is, uh, this is for lifestyle. Okay, I can do what I want. But very often people, they don't realize that you don't need to put 100% of the preset because it looks really artificial. So at any time you have this wheel here and you can change so you don't apply too much. So it's important. 
manage this easily. But as you can see, it's really fast and easy. And you could also uh, go to the Enhance AI and here decide how much AI you want to do. Take care with that because if you go to 100%, it looks really artificial and no one will believe this picture is real, okay? But as you can see, it is so, so, so easy to use this app. You have everything you need to develop, maybe not as advanced as the Neo, but if you want to do quick uh, retouch, quick uh, adjustment, or, or serious replacement of a sky or an object or whatever, you can do it. So I think this is great. As you can see, it is easy, simple, and fast. So now let's get into Luminar Neo. Same thing, I'll show you basic. There are a lot more features I've shown in other video, but I want to compare both, so I'll go to the basic part. So let's get in there. If you wanted to help me, don't forget I've activated the member area of my YouTube channel. You don't get any special videos, you just get a small star next to your name. It's really cheap, uh, $1.99 a month, one uh, euros uh, 99 that helps me. And with this small star, I know you remember and I answer your question with priority. Thank you so much for your support. Also, I have affiliate links in the description. Please use them. As I said, Eric 10, 10% on Aperty and Luminar Neo. But there is also Eric 20 on Ken Faith, where you will find all the access accessories by KF Concept, tripod, filters, uh, bags, all this. So use it, Eric 20, 20% discount. Thank you so much. That really helps me. Let's carry on. So this is a raw file, so let's go to edit and here you will find everything you want to develop the raw. As you can see, when it is a uh, raw file, it's right here, raw. So I can develop as I want, the exposure, everything. I've already reviewed this uh, software, so I'm not going to show you everything again. The idea is to show you the main differences with uh, mobile, okay? Uh, here, some uh, features are uh, separated here. The, uh, like here, when you look in the mobile, they're together, but doesn't matter, you can still do everything you want. If you want to work on a uh, landscape, for example, uh, what could be uh, the DH, the golden hour, if you want a bit, if you want to work on foliage, you could also, same as I did on the Luminar mobile. What's important is to understand that everything there is in the Luminar mobile, you will find it here, but not everything you have in the Neo you will find in the mobile. If I want to work on the sky, I could also uh, replace the sky. Let's get this one. This is not the same I used on uh, the mobile app, but it's the same I used in other languages. Uh, same thing, I can still uh, change the position of the sky. I can do uh, things, I could flip it, everything. I could refine the uh, mask, I could uh, see Everything could work and what's important is also, as I explained on the mobile, is actually uh, to defocus a bit to be realistic. But as I can see, I can work everything. There are a lot more uh, features on the Neo. We can still do many things. If I want to uh, develop, uh, as you can see, I've developed already, so raw doesn't appear again. But if I want to uh, do uh, AI enhance, I can actually do it here. If I go uh, too much to uh, 100%, this is well over the top, I can st still do many things. If you want to really do advanced retouching, Neo is no doubt really great. But many people tell me, yeah, I've got Neo, but I don't need everything that it has. But I still don't want an app. Uh, I prefer to work on a computer. What about the presets? No problem, you go here to presets and here you pick like landscape from all sceneries and you go, could also pick this one. Same as on the mobile, you can uh, decide on how much you apply the effect. This one actually changes the sky if you want, or if you want something simple. There are so many things. As you can see, it's really, really, really easy to use. Uh, if you want to use it in a simple way. Neo is really advanced, but you can still use only part of it. So, as you can see, both are uh, advanced, but Neo is a lot more advanced. But let's speak about the main differences. I would say Luminar Neo is a lot more advanced, really advanced AI features. Um, not getting into what is AI and what is not, because nowadays everything and everyone is telling you about AI, okay? I'm not telling you what is advanced algorithm or AI, doesn't matter. I take the word uh, 
they are using. It can process any raw file, obviously not the one that came out yesterday, like any piece of software, you have to wait a bit of a time, uh, uh, sometimes a couple of weeks when a new camera comes out before a raw file is compatible, but yes, it's really advanced. And as you can see, you have a lot of precise control, really precise, you can do many, many things, it's really advanced. The cons, well, you need a really powerful computer because yes, uh, AI is really uh, power and uh, resource consume, uh, consumes a lot. Okay, so you have to uh, need a powerful computer. Often that type of com computer is more expensive than a mobile device. And because most of the time you already have a mobile device yourself, you don't have to buy it. And I would say the learning curve is a lot more advanced. Uh, yes, learning how to dominate Luminar Neo takes some time. If we speak about Luminar Mobile, well, first point, it's always with you. Yeah, maybe not your tablet, but your smartphone, you have it with you, so that's great. It's really easy to use if you want to do a quick, basic uh, retouching, a sky replacement, erase some things, you can do it really fast, so that's great. It's really uh, perfect to export to social networks. The cons, well, the features are a lot less advanced, it does read some raw file, but not all of them. Some com cameras that have been on the market for some time gives uh, doesn't always read them. So, well, for that, maybe a problem, but you can always do some uh, special effect replacement or that on the JPEG if you want, if you work JPEG. And I would say when you work with a smartphone, uh, the screen is too small to see really well what you're doing. On a tablet, it's not uh, much of a problem, but on a smartphone, it is. So. It really depends what you want to do. So how could I make a small digest of the features and what it is for? The level, I would say. Luminar Neo is for advanced and pro. You can be a beginner, of course, but if you are pro or advanced user, that's great. Luminar Mobile is for more for casual use uh, from time to time. Or some uh, people who don't need advanced feature, they will use it every day, obviously. But uh, if you're an advanced user, Maybe you use it from time to time, but normally you prefer to use the Neo. If we look at the tools, they're a lot more advanced on the Luminar Neo, and there are a lot more basics on the Luminar Mobile. We speak about the file. Most raw files are supported by Luminar Neo, and on mobile, not all of them are supported, but you can still do a lot on JPEG anyway. I would say, the Luminar Neo is ideal for advanced and pro photographers and Luminar Mobile is enough for many people who really want to publish on social networks. So what is the best? Well, because I say social networks because sometimes you uh, see in small and some small uh, things that are not good, you don't see them, but you will pu publish on social networks that will be seen on a small screen anyway, so no one will notice these small uh, things. But if your idea is to print in really large or uh, show in a really large screen, obviously Neo is more precise to see everything, but that could be with any piece of software, the same thing on a smartphone, you see not as good as on a large monitor, logically. So I would say, yeah, one is more for a casual user or people who don't want to bother with advanced features and they will just publish to social networks, the mobile will be fine, and the other one for more advanced. What is best for you? It depends on you. But I've got a really great piece of news, as I said at the beginning. Many people like me use both. And this is the second question people ask me so often. Can I start editing on my Luminar mobile and finish on Neo? And the answer is simple, no. Well, no. Well, mm, yes, very soon. Uh, what do I mean? Well, they're still separated, uh, separate apps, but Skylum is presenting soon, mid-September. Uh, you can already pre-order now what they call the Luminar ecosystem. So it means you can start or work on any of them and cross them. I could start on my mobile and finish on my Neo and uh, do something on Neo and finish on the mobile. So this is great because people like me, like I do some landscape or model photo shoot and I want to publish something straight away on social networks. I can start on my tablet or my smartphone, do it then and publish. But still, I would not like, uh, I, would not, uh, I don't want to waste the time or lose the time I spent on this uh, basic retouching 
well, I will be able to open it then in Luminar Neo and do some more advanced work. So if you're on the you're on the move, so you could start retouching, basically touching your pictures and do many things, and then uh, and finish in a really higher level on your Neo. Still, there are separate apps. And it's not like one day they communicate to each other. This is a new service, a new uh, feature that is called uh, Ecosystem. And you can uh, buy it with a subscription or uh, as Skylum always offer both possibilities to have a license, a lifetime license, you take it either and it will be available very soon. So I think it's great to know that people like me who use both, they have this option. If you use just any of the two, you don't need this ecosystem, obviously, you can keep what you have, okay? But if you are a person that uses both, it will be possible to have this uh, advanced feature called ecosystem. So I think this is a great piece of news and soon we'll speak again about it. So I hope this answers the question. Uh, what is best for you, Luminar Mobile or Luminar Neo? It depends on you, but I think with this video, it gives you uh, an idea of uh, what could be best for you. So don't forget, if you're interested in buying or trying this software, there's links in the description. And with my code ERIC10, you get a 10% discount on Luminar Neo and on Aperty, also by Skylum. Uh, even if there is, there is a great offer, still place my code, it's even cheaper for you, ERIC10, okay? So thank you so much for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the small button down here, and a small bell. If you click on the bell, you will get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. I remind you of activating the member area of my YouTube channel. Uh, you don't get any special video, you get a small star next to your name. It's really affordable every month, 199 really cheap euros, okay? And uh, I answer your question with priority and that helps me. So I thank you so much for supporting my channel. Also I have uh, affiliate links in the description. Don't forget to use them, that helps me. And as I said, Luminar Neo with Eric 10 and Aperty, you get 10% discount. Okay, use it, let's save you some money. And with Eric 20, get 20% discount on Ken Faith website. All the uh, gear you have by Kenfaith Concept, tripod, filters, bags, all this. Use it, they have more brands also. Use it, you save some money, that helps me too. So thank you so much. Also leave you my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much, please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.